You happy? Because I'm happy. I hope you're happy. Julie Ellender here. Good evening, guys. This is just going to be a pretty simple photo transfer, and you'll need a magazine page, some packing tape, and some gesso. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten out my page. It's a little wrinkled, and I'm going to put my packing tape on the image that I want of that door. And I'm just going to flatten that out as much as I can without any bubbles. And I'm going to use about three pieces of tape on this so far. Now what we're going to do is carefully peel that tape off of the image and if you happen to rip the magazine page it's totally fine. It's not going to be used after this step anyway. Now I know a lot of you are wondering why didn't I just cut the image out and paste it on? Well that's a good question. Sometimes I like to be a little difficult and this just seemed like a fun project and I also get really tired of using adhesives and waiting for them to dry and I found the packing tape and thought why not? So now I'm just going to prep the page with some gesso so I can paint on there and it'll adhere to the packing tape. Now I kind of wanted a warm inviting look, hence the warm brown colors and I'm also using my Delusion Spray Ink to give a little more color in between that stencil and the acrylic paint. And I'm just going to sop that up with my decorative napkin which I will probably use on another page at a later date. 
After all was said and done, the tape did lift up a little bit on either side of the image, but that is simply because when I initially put the tape down, the page wasn't lying completely flat. Now, the way that you can fix this is simply go ahead and add more tape. It's just more texture. Or you can go ahead and take a Q-tip and add some Mod Podge or some glue underneath the creases where it lifted up. And that's the end of yet another fun art journaling project. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, and I look forward to showing you guys more stuff next week.